Oh, man. All right, we're probably not flying today. Oh, hang on. I don't know if you can see, but it's, it's raining, but that's okay. We've got some other things to do today. Oh, and you're gonna come with me for them. Okay, let's go. Okay, I mean, I guess we can probably use the door. So these are the back orders for the remotes. Uh, well, I mean, they're the invoices at least. These are the actual remotes. So we're gonna spend the morning shipping these out because they've been on back order for, I think a good few weeks. Sorry about that. But they're going out today. So if you did place an order, it is going out today. And anyone else placing an order from here onwards, it'll be going out the same day. Sorry about the delay on that one. So the back orders are for remotes for these. So basically when you get into FPV, the first thing you buy is a remote. That way you can practice in the simulator and it doesn't cost you as much when you crash. And this remote, which is the Radio Master Pocket, which is the one that basically all the orders are for right now, is the one that I think is best for beginners because um, I mean, firstly, it's super easy to set up. And then when you get to actually flying a real drone, you can use the same remote. So like, I even still use this remote today. Anyway, so we now have stock of them. We're going to pack all these orders. I'm going to just like first lay them out all on this table, then put the items of each order on top and then just like organize everything. And then we'll box it all up. And of course, everyone who ordered a pre-order also gets a free remote lanyard, so. And most importantly, gummy bears. Okay, so all the paperwork and items are pretty much all organized. So, last step, just boxing everything up and then we'll take it to the post office. So after all these are sent out, we have a meeting with some guys. This, well, I mean, it's, it's in a few hours, but I'm putting together a FPV frame. It's a uh, to four inch frame. I'm pretty hyped because this is like Ether FPV's first actual product. I mean, it, it's probably gonna be at least a few months till I actually get it off the ground, but it's pretty exciting. But yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. It is a little bit chaotic. Hold up, wait a minute, who's that? Got the whole room looking at you. Wanna know who they're looking at? Primo Alamode, who's that? Who's that? <sighs> All orders packed. I feel like it's always been like a weird dream of mine to be taking orders to a post office in garbage bags. I don't know, is, is it just me? I feel like it's just something I've, I've always wanted to do. Okay, unfortunately it's still raining, so we're still not gonna be able to fly at all today. You know, we have skipped ahead in the day a bit and we're about to jump on a call with Wintech. So Wintech is the company that I'm sort of partnering with to put together this drone frame that I'm working on. So the good thing is that these guys are not only engineers, but FPV pilots as well. It's getting a bit rainy here, we'll go inside. So today's basically just kicking off this project and you know fleshing out the design for the drone that we're going to be working on oh god and also what's needed in the drone like what motors we're putting in it what stack we're putting in it all the specs and everything so we're going to go over that with the guys 
now. What's up? Hello, welcome. <clears throat> How you been? Uh, good. We basically organized this because we wanted to get a better idea on what you really want and like visually as well, but also like I understand that we got like some of your specifications for roominess, etc. Mm -hmm. But it's more the visual side of it yep. that I'd like to focus on because we might have two different ideas. So we just want to like line that up so we present something that's nice to you mm -hmm. and fits into your vision for either FPV and Nick FPV and all of that. It'd be cool to like have a consistency in the designs where you can sort of tell that it's like an Ether FPV product. <laughs> Thinking that might be a good thing to like incorporate into like all the products is just that sort of um, design language into so that both yeah. of the products. We then went over the construction for the frame. We have looked at the lowest possible part number that we could get, because mm -hmm. that would lower production cost and ease of use, basically. Putting together a frame can be kind of annoying and can make it more durable because it is a beginner-focused drone. Yeah. Overall frame like design, that's also another thing, because we have so many options in terms of frames. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm biased here and I can say I'm very biased towards dead cats. I love the look of dead cat frames, but I know that they're not the best for beginners. There's another thing like with the yaw, like for freestyle especially, mm. a lot of the yaw issue with dead cats, which I've figured out Betaflight pretty much has handled that now. Like it doesn't really affect it. Yeah. But it's in terms of crash resistance, what kind of dial frame do you want? I think I'm going to go for um, X. X? Yeah, yeah, I think X is a dead way to go. Yeah. So something similar to that. Um, Bits a bit more like a true X actually, but yeah. Yeah, let's just do true X and just keep it simple, yeah. And then we went over the optimal layout of the drone. There's two ways to do a frame. You can add the arms sandwich in between here. It's nice because you have a lot more room to work around here. It's a lot easier to work with your, your stack, your air unit, your antenna holders, and because you're not messing with the arms in the way. The arm mounting to the body, so below or on top. Yeah, I think we'd want it underneath. I, yeah, I that, give that gives it more room because those arms don't need to be inside. No, no. Well, good. Thank you for jumping on a call. Ciao. See you, See you later. And that's pretty much it for today. I'm so hyped for this upcoming frame. It's gonna be sick. So I've given them all like the specs that I want to have in that frame. And then hopefully within a few months, we'll have an actual prototype and then we can keep iterating it from there, which is exciting. There'll be more updates on that soon, but thanks everyone for ordering the remotes. They're up on the site now as not back orders. If you're interested in that, I'll see you guys in the next video.